Okay, so today starts the uh, removal of the rocker boxes, the push rod, push rod tubes. Uh, first, I have to, um, you know, set the valves so there's no tension on the valves at all, which means I got to jack the bike up, rotate the engine around. First, we got to pull the plugs out. So I'm pulling the plugs out, and uh, I find out that on the plugs are these things. And what they are is they're covers. And I'll show you. They uh, they kind of go over the plugs like that. And that's fine. But you can't ever take these off and reuse them. They just don't want to come off. Now I'm thinking that really the dealer, or the shop that I bought this from, never actually changed the plugs. So you can see how rusty this plug is. I mean, the bike ran fine. Maybe they felt that they didn't need to, but if I think if they're taking a bike in, they really should at least change the plugs in it. Uh, but that plug, you know, is all rusty. This one is not so rusty. Uh, so we're going to take the plugs out and uh, rotate the motor. I've already got this cover off, actually. But in order to take tension off the, you know, the valve train up there, I need to take the compression off the springs. Okay, so here's the plugs. Uh... The plugs look great. They don't look bad at all. It looks like it's not, it's, you know, feels burning just like it should. It's got that nice gray brownish uh, tan to it. So looks good. But I'm going to replace the plugs anyway because who knows. I mean, they look like they're in good shape. I don't really, looks like maybe the one on the right, the electrode's a little down in it. And that's the one that came from the rear cylinder. So let's, uh, Jack the bike up and we'll uh, look at the drivetrain. I mean the valve train. Okay, so we're taking the other uh, top of the rocker box off. And I'm having a problem getting these out because, I don't know if you can see this, let me zoom in a little bit on it. Uh, you see that running down? These people, well, um, the person that had this bike before me used hot glue to keep these pieces on they're just caps that snap that you know snap they're supposed to snap on and snap off evidently they must have taken these out before because i can't for the life of me figure out why they would hot glue them on there first i thought it was silicone but this stuff is hard so it's hot glue so i'm having a hard time getting those out so let me uh let me see i finally got the front wheel on I mean, I don't care about these covers because I'm not reusing them, but yeah, you can see how it's, these things are just supposed to pop on and pop off. They're not supposed to be glued on like that. So I'm, I really don't know why they glued them on unless they had these covers off at one point, uh, but they're kind of a pain in the ass to Get off. I mean, I've had them on other bikes, but I've never hot glued them on. This they're like they put so much hot glue on this stuff. It's, you can hardly get at the bolt. Now you're supposed to take these off in a certain order, but uh, these just hold this top cover down. They really don't do anything, and I'm not reusing this cover, so it doesn't really matter. It's such a pain in the ass. Okay, so we got the other cover off. Uh, you can see how bad these these are. These are pretty bad. Uh, I'm just going to junk these. There's no real value in having these re-chromed. It'll cost more to re-chrome them than it would if you just went out and bought them. So I'll give those to uh, some metal guy. We're going to take the breather assembly off first. And we'll check that. Uh, but I'm going to show you these bolts from the top of the rocker uh, covers. You can see what I'm talking about. So we still got to get the motor uh, in top dead center. But you can take this breather off before you do that. Because you want to do the smallest bolts first. Because these, these other bolts... The four bolts hold the, you no know, the valve arms down, but the rocker arms down. But this is just a breather. Okay, so we got this breather out, and the 
kind of whole point of this breather. This is supposed to come apart here. Anyway, there's a umbrella valve right there. And what that's supposed to do is let air go out and this oil is supposed to trap this oil and send it back down into the motor. So uh, the bolts on this don't matter. They're the same size. So we're going to put these over here for now. Okay, so now we have the... Uh, we have it lined up right. We'll do the uh, rocker arm support plate on this rear cylinder because I still got to line it up for that one. And we want to do, what's the sequence on that? So it's one, two, one, two, three, four. Is that how it goes? So let me show you the bolts for the uh, top of the rocker. You can see hot glue on all these bolts which is I'm not sure why you just didn't go out and spend the 80 90 bucks that those covers cost if you really want them but instead they hot glued them on so not very good all right so let's uh we got the push rods off so I think we can clean these up fine I think it, we're just going to need the the gaskets in the uh the spring. I mean, that's I can might be able to get that off, but put a little Scotch Brite on there and work on it a little bit should be fine. So we want to make sure that this end goes down. So we're gonna just leave that in there for now. Same thing with this. I want to take this out. Today we're going to save that for tomorrow because I've got some stuff to do tonight. So just thought I would uh, show you the beginning part of the rock replacement. We still got to take this off. We got to, this cover really is not bad. I could leave that on there, but what am I going to do with the cover that came as a set? It comes with the top and the bottom. So might as well put a new one on there. Not going to hurt anything. And uh, we still got to put the tappet covers on, lifter covers got brand new ones of those and then we'll take the uh no the other side off so all right that's uh that's gonna do it for today uh don't forget to subscribe leave some comments what do you think uh, i still gotta work on that front wheel the spacers are not right on that front wheel but i wanted to get a wheel on there just so i could put it down on the ground you know after i uh take this other one off. I don't have to rotate the wheel anymore. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.